I don't wanna ever go There's pretty killers over there on the low They're trying to make me change the way I see the world Trying to pull me under, trying to make me switch up I'm trying to paint the picture, so hear me out I hate the way the issues turn up unannounced Always bringing drama without a doubt I can't even hold back, I'm in my feelings I'll wear them on my wrist I wish it could be my oasis But you're always acting wasted And to think we almost dated That was crazy Good morning guys It is day 3 of our journey Today we are headed to Zanzibar We decided to start with Zanzibar because it, I believe it is more costly from the research I've made It is more costly to stay there than here So we are going to ensure that we finish the costly side Before we return to Dar es Salaam We can survive in Dar es Salaam I assure you We've been to so many cities and this is just one of them. So, we are so excited, but it's a dream destination for most of us and we intend to blow it out. So guys, enjoy this view first. I'm still making my face match. I told you yesterday that I will show you how the BNB looks like. So, <laughs> so this is the living room. You can see it is a very simple space. Brown seats, brown, brown seats. Except from that one, there's something. The fact that it's very dark and the floor is very dark, it makes this place, the living room, appear a bit gloomy. But it worked yesterday. Open plan kitchen. It has everything, but I would say that the utensils were quite limited. We could not cook. Otherwise, the bedrooms are much better. There are two bedrooms. So there is this one master and fit. You can see when you check in, get in, you just see the bathroom. Yeah, they provided a very good shower gel, and then this is the bedroom. The place is too colorful, I and mean, there's so much, so many colors clashing, but everything is fine other than that. So, here is the other common bathroom, and uh, I think this is a smaller bed. It is actually in a very good neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what defines a good neighborhood, but you can see some very nice mansionettes around. Nice ones like this one. So, this is how this other bedroom looks like. It has a smaller storage space as compared to the master. But other than that, guys, that is as far as it goes. The house is very spacious. That is a very good thing because you usually we carry so many things and you need a lot of room to move around. It is 60, It costed us $67. The signage on the roads in Tanzania is just outstanding. Even these roads that go to the villages, or how can I call them, estates, are well labeled. Look at that church. Everyone respects traffic lights apart from the motorbikes. What is wrong with the motorcycle people, surely? Everywhere, you're the only ones who don't follow this, the lights, the traffic lights. Huh? Are you exempted from all the rules? Look at that one. Now we were wondering what Rafuzi is. So we remembered in our Swahili classes there was something called Lafuzi. So it is either a dialect or an accent. We'll have to confirm that. I think it's a dialect because there is the, the Rwandese Swahili, there is the Kenyan Swahili. 
and then there is Tanzanian Swahili. <laughs> Actually, she even thought that we were from Nigeria. I didn't think our accent was that different. Nigeria, surely, you people. <laughs> okay, I'm just stuck with that. Rafuzi. Rafuzi. Rafuzi langu ni tofauti. Si kama na Tanzania. Dar es Salaam was previously called Mzizima, which means healthy town in Swahili. Its population is estimated to be more than 7 million people, but it keeps growing by the day. So we will show you more of this city later. But here is just a sneak peek, which is not so much a sneak peek, it's sort of a mini tour, but... On oh, Nigeria Night Street. <laughs> Finally in Zanzibar, that was a 
very nice trip out so I've seen so many nice things from here just actually this is the ferry for the economy <laughs> for the economy plan. and then through that window is the VIP but from where I stand I think it, it has a lot of similarities with Lamu check out my videos on Lamu it has a lot of similarities with it and I'm just surprised that the port is just right next next to the passenger side how do you call it yes it is next to the boarding side for the passengers there is the port but otherwise this was a nice trip so it, economy is just fine you don't have to take the vip but if you ha if you must try it out So we are having our lunch. This is chicken biryani. The Zanzibar to accommodation in Zanzibar for the next two days so this place is right at the center of the old town in Stone Town I know that sounds like a rhyme but it is somewhere at the center of the Stone Town from the time we had lunch right now it's around 5-11 we decided to, decided to take a power nap it was so tired especially if you are coming to this place with a lot of baggages and sure you know where you are going to stay because going around looking for houses with a lot of baggages is hectic we are a living witness to that so there are plenty of historical sites even i don't know the name of others but i will show you there's one over there and there are plenty there. you can see over there and there are plenty more along this road we tried to get a place for a small budget and it was not so easy the place we are staying right now is around 40 dollars per night for the four of us and it is in a shared space i've never stayed in a shared space like ever but this was the first time because i was on a budget one the other thing is this is the most decent place i would get the third thing is i would still come back here even if it, even if i was not on a budget this place is so clean i didn't think shared spaces could be this clean so this is the balcony. Just look how beautiful this looks. And then there is a small reading place, or I think the library. And then I'll just try to show you the common areas. Because imagine this place is so clean. I'm literally walking on my feet. It is too clean. This is the other common area. That's this. That is a common area. And then there are the private rooms. This is a private room for other people. There's another one here, and this is ours. Welcome to our private room. So there's this uh, queen -size, size bed here, and then there are two single beds over there. So that space should be enough for us. Okay, I was surprised when we got this place. I thought we would not like it, but once we got here, we were sold. Forty dollars for this much space. Yet we want to save much on this town because I'm told things here are a bit expensive as compared to Dar es Salaam. So this was just the best, best, best option you could get. So if you come early enough, you can get such spaces or even better spaces. But my advice is book in advance. Okay? It's not so easy getting spaces here on a weekend especially. Book in advance. So right now we're going to do a walk around this along this street actually there was the, it looks like there was some function here it is a street like the one in 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 Lamu, an old street like the one in Lamu and the one in old town Mombasa. this 
is a very very decent place. I would, I would recommend it for anyone actually, anyone at all. It doesn't matter whether you're on budget or not because the bed is quite comfortable. I've slept here for like three hours and I can confirm the bed is very comfortable. The host is the best. Sweet lady, sweet lady. She thought she, she thought we were from South Africa. <laughs> this just excites me from the fact that once I'm outside, I'm outside Kenya, I could be anyone. I could be coming from any country, South Africa, Nigeria. I'm waiting for another guest. <laughs> this order that we got last time in the supermarket. I didn't know Fanta, there is, there is Fanta without sugar. It tastes weird. You're used to the ones with a lot of sugar in Kenya, but it, is, it tastes weird because no sugar. But it's an acquired taste. I think with time we'll get used to it. Otherwise, let's enjoy our stay now. I like other old towns. This one has so many nice restaurants. Ha! <laughs> now, I think this place is also conserved by the UNESCO. So there is very little alteration to, to these houses. But it is a beautiful version. Just, just more than the inside. that has been repubbed, pimped. <laughs> I'm trying to compare this old town with the one in Kenya, especially the one in Mombasa. These people have they have refurbished all these old houses. They are using them for business. Others are like art galleries. Others are jewelry shops. Others are restaurants. We need to do something. Like in the evening, this is a place for gathering. We are at the Forozani 
gardens, I think, or something of that sort. It's just we are headed to the night food market, but on the road, ah, there are so many sceneries. Those kids who like jumping into the water, you see them. There is this fancy restaurant. Oh, and they actually have a floating bar. They actually have a floating bar over there. Eh, uh, ipo calamari ambayo ni squidi. Alafu kuna different kind of fish. Tuna tuna fish, tuna paracuda fish, tuna mussels ambao ni small shell. Ipo scala is a big shell. Tunayo beef cow, tunayo liver cow, tunayo beef cow, tunayo regular chicken, tunayo chicken tikka masala, ipo chicken tandoori masala, ipo bronze you calling shrimp, ipo octop octopus you put it tandoori masala, octopus plenty, sweet banana, sambusa vegetarian. Polafeli vegetaria, sambusa beef, coconut bread, chapati bread, garlic bread, sesame bread. And this is the cassava manioka. Everything you choose, but my grill is hot in the barbecue, okay? Take it plenty, you choose what you want, hakuna matata. This marks the end of day three in Tanzania and day one in Zanzibar. We intend to explore this beautiful island for seven days, so there is more beautiful content coming through. So stay tuned for more and if you have not watched my previous video on this series, please catch up and let's meet in the next video. Bye!